Hey, what's happening, wow. guys? Alton here, and uh, we are at Bay d'Urfe, Bay d'Urfe, which is on almost on the western tip of Montreal. Beautiful uh, lakeshore and the waterfront and boats and you know old money and all that shit. And here's a Canadian 60 Pontiac Laurentian, and that I'm sure it must be the original 283 Chevy V8 because the Canadian Pontiacs came with Chevy motors, straight six, 261, 250, 283. And then anything else after that would have been very rare. I don't really care for the mags, but whatever, that can always be changed. It's a minor detail. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool or what? Four-door sedan. I was telling my friend Alex, who was just next to me, I was like, you know what? I could count on my fingers how many of these I've seen in my life. Forget about seen. How about filmed? I think this may be the only 60 Pontiac I've ever filmed, quite frankly. They're not even really rare. I just don't know uh, why that is. Look at the interior. It's original, man. That means this car is low mileage. No, seriously, I think this is the only 60 Pontiac I've ever filmed. Pretty sure about that. Uh, might have been a convertible somewhere down the line, but I can't seem to remember that at all. Yeah, it's funny because, look, somebody had put a mirror here at some point. And then, but the, it was popular to put one or two mirrors just next ahead of the windshield, or even more forward than that back in the day, actually. Inside of those stars were painted red. Big ass boat. That's just the way I love them. Look at that styling. How cool is that, man? Ain't the rocket age, the atomic age, baby. Don't matter if it was in the US or Canada. And of course, American influence was huge back then on Canada. Canada! Got nice uh, dual exhaust on there. And you know, that's the thing, these cars were so awesome that even the four doors, in my opinion, were amazing. Seriously. Not the best time to film this, unfortunately. I mean, it's freaking high noon right now. Not the best. Then, of course, there's this incredible 59 Dodge Custom Royal I filmed uh, a couple of months ago. Yeah, Laurentian, or as the French call it here in Quebec, Laurentien. Laurentienne. Kind of wish the hood was down. Bumper needs re-chroming big time. Other than that bumper, it's pretty good shape. Obviously the interior could use some uh, redoing, but uh, hey, it's original for crying out loud. Why does it have mirrors on the ground? Look at the condition of that back seat, man. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't even wouldn't be surprised if there wasn't even sixty thousand on this car, because it's so bloody. It's just in such great condition. I got a feeling that the black is also the original color because a lot of car. It was a popular thing to do was to have a car painted black, and then uh, you know the interior would be red. I really would love to see what the what the mileage on it is. Oh man, I like that smell. That old vinyl smell, eh? Oh, I don't know. It says something 5,000. Shit, I don't know. Let me try that again. Try that again another way here. Those of you who don't know me, I'm visually in paradise, so things are not, a, not obvious at times. Like just looking at tree signs from across the street for a guy like me is not easy. 55,000, there you go. I was gonna say 50,000, imagine. I love it, man. That's my bread and butter, you know? See, I always, I often say this when I see a classic car that I really like, I'm gonna say it right now, this is exactly what I would buy. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you got a classic car, even if it's a big classic American, takes a lot of space and pollutes and takes a lot of fuel, just enjoy it, man. That's what they're there for. Bye.